So the first video in this little mini series is going to be creating the message API. How do we get the messages and all the settings that we have set in the config over here? How do we get all that in the plugin? Because what we are going to do in the next video is load all that stuff from the config into the RAM, into the plugin, so that we don't need to read from the config every single time we, we want to check and see if a variable is running, uh, etc, etc. Um, so I'll go ahead and move this over there. And the way we do this is we will be using getter and setter methods. Um, it'll make a little bit more sense once I get there. Um, it's kind of, I guess, slang. But the first thing we're going to want to do, I just like to do this with most of my plugins, is make a constructor. And if you don't know what a constructor is, they're pretty confusing at first. You can go ahead and watch the new Boston tutorial on it. Um, he's got a great tutorial. I know constructors are very confusing at first. I had a, a lot of issues with understanding what the point of them are, um, but you have to understand them if you want to continue coding. And don't worry if you don't understand it. Uh, you will get it. It's a very simple concept. I'll go ahead and try give you my simple explanation right here. So every time you make a new instance of a class, you call this constructor method. This is a constructor method. It has to be public and it has to be the name of the class. Some classes don't require any parameters, just like that. In this case, we are requiring that you give us the auto message example class. We need that class in order to function. Now, if we were for a different API, this is going to be a static API. We might want to change that constructor. We, you can have multiple constructors for each class, but um, for this, this instance, this type, uh, we're just going to go and leave it like that. And we will create a new instance over here, message API, API equal, and then we'll just set it there and then create a new instance of it right here. And we're sending this class. So we'll send this, the constructor now sends this class, which is the auto message example into the message API. Super simple. It's basically a way of just sending variables between different classes. So you could just think of it like that. Now, what was the point of that? You may ask, well, now we don't need to create a constructor in any other classes to get our plugin because we can just uh, make a static method uh, to get the plugin just like that. And you will see the red line. And that is because anytime you use a variable it, in a static method, it also has to be static static and you will also notice that I'm making all of my variables private and that is because there's no reason for another another class to need my the variables I declare here I'm gonna be making methods so they can access and set those variables through my methods I don't want them to mess around with stuff they don't they shouldn't be able to mess around with anyways now if you look back at the config here we're gonna be loading or having getter and setter methods for all of, all of the settings so that enabled minimum players and log the console variables so first of all we will go ahead and make uh, some config variables we'll go ahead and uh, make a comment comment here so we know it's always good to comment your code and we'll make a private boolean it uh, is in uh, we'll just call it enabled just like that and the next one is a integer, so private int min players, just like that, and private boolean log to console. And there we go. Now we have the first three settings defined. And in the constructor, because the constructor is called the very first time the message API is instant instant I don't know how to pronounce that word but um, anyways it's called right here and it will, that will be the only time it is called so we will go ahead and go ahead and set enabled by default to true the min players equal to zero and log to console equal to false and now we have all of the default settings set up. Okay, so now we gotta make getter and setter methods for these three variables. Um, I'll go ahead and start that for the enabled. So public boolean, or it's gonna be a static method, boolean is enabled, and we will return the value enabled, and then we will make another method static 
right and that red is because none of these variables were static and they all need to be static there we go and then we'll make a way to set this simple as that so this is basically saying okay let me see if the plugins enabled and if it is uh, we can do some sort of code later uh, it's basically we're turning this value which is set here and then we can also set the value here and I'll go ahead and make the methods for the next two down below okay so now that we have created all the getter and setter methods for the basic settings we can go ahead and move on to the message list don't get too excited now because that will be coming tomorrow that video will be uploaded tomorrow uh, like 12 p.m. Pacific Standard Time somewhere around there um, I don't know I'll schedule the upload around there anyways I hope you guys liked it let me know how I'm doing on the video tutorial I'd like to do some more um, bigger plugins in the future and uh, thank you guys for watching my name is Kenny and I'll see you guys next time